This is about taking out the seat. So the reason I'm pulling it out is that the recline function doesn't work anymore on this one. To remove the seat, looks like there's just four bolts. One there, one over here on the other side. There you go. The front ones, they are, they start out with, at least in mine, they're covered with this plastic cap, so they, they look like that. But you just pry that off with a small screwdriver. And you got this bolt, that bolt, and then you're gonna need to scoot the seat far forward to see the other two. So you have bolt right there. And one right here. Nasty back there. Anyway, each one is this is 16 millimeter. So pulling those four and then unplugging the wires is how you can pull out your seat. Now this is the connector under the seat. I wanted to show you really quickly how to remove it um, because you don't want to go yanking on it. Uh, you know, unbolt the seat, but then still have this wire attached. So there's this tab. Take a skinny screwdriver and you'll pull it. You'll pull it this way. Now it's easier to do, of course, two-handed, but you see how it's sliding out? As it slides out, it, it makes it so it unlocks this, and then you can just pull it. Okay, that's the locking mechanism. And of course, when you put it back in, you'll just slide that shut. Now the seat with the bolts out, and this disconnected is ready to come out. Bolt holes, two studs, and the connector. <laughs>